What's up everybody, Tactical Production 7 here, back with another Minecraft mod tutorial. Today's mod tutorial will be the Spawner's UI mod, and what this mod does is it allows you to change what will spawn out of a mob spawner. Um, now you do have to have it in the correct conditions for whatever animal you're trying to spawn to spawn. So for instance, if you're trying to have it spawn zombies, it needs to be in a dark area. If you want it to spawn um, like a pig, you can just put it on grass. Um, so you do have to have the correct environment for it. So we'll go ahead and set this down. And there you go, it's already spawning pigs, but I don't really want it to spawn pigs. So if we go ahead and right click it, it'll bring up the mob spawner menu. And you can see we can have it spawn whatever we want. So we can have zombie, spider, it's literally every single mob is in here, even the ender dragon. So let's go with a mushroom. These things look kind of cool. Should spawn here in a second. There we go. So there we've got our mushroom cow. Let's see what else can we spawn. Let's go with a slime. Let's see if that... I don't think I'm in the correct area, but it might spawn. And not in the correct area for a slime. So that there you go. That shows you that you you know you got, you got to, you have to be in the right area or environment for the mob to spawn. So that's really all there is to this mod. It just allows you to change what comes out of the mob spawner. So I'm going to go ahead and save and quit the title. And I now need to clean out my Minecraft jar. After I do that, I'll be back and I will show you how to install this mod. Okay, so what you're going to need to install this mod is some sort of archiving program such as WinRAR, 7-Zip, or WinZip. These do all work the same, so you can use whatever you prefer. I will be using WinRAR in this tutorial. Then you're going to need to download ModLoader and the Spawner GUI mod itself. So to download the mod loader and spawner GUI, I'll go ahead and give you the link to this page in the description. So you're just going to go ahead and scroll down until you see mod loader 1.1 and you can either do download from AdFly or direct, whatever you prefer to do. So after you download mod loader, go ahead and scroll down some more until you see spawner GUI 1.1 and again you can download from AdFly or direct, whatever you prefer. So that is how to download the mod loader and spawner GUI. Now when you're ready to install it, go ahead and come over to start, then type in percent app data percent, just like this down here. Then go ahead and open up your roaming. Now open your dot minecraft, then go into your bin and left click your Minecraft jar, then right click it, and then do open with and select whatever archiving program you're using. I'm using WinRAR, so I'm gonna go ahead and open it with WinRAR. So there you go, got your Minecraft jar open, and your bin, we do not need this open anymore, so we can go ahead and just close that. So once you got your Minecraft jar open, go ahead and open up Mod Loader, highlight all these class files, and drag them into your Minecraft jar, and hit OK. Go ahead and close Mod Loader. Now open up Spawner GUI, and highlight all these files, and drag them into your Minecraft jar, and hit OK. And now you can go ahead and close Spawner GUI. Now you should see a folder in your Minecraft jar called MetaInf. If you do not see this folder, it's okay, you can just go ahead and skip this step. But if you do see it, what you want to do is delete it. So left click it, then right click it, select delete files, then hit yes. And that will delete MetaInf. You want to make sure you always delete MetaInf when you're installing a mod. If you don't, it'll cause Minecraft to crash. So after you do that, you can go ahead and close your Minecraft jar, and that's it. You're done installing this mod. So I hope this video helped you guys out. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.